can't fly. How's the light? Want me to turn it off or on? I think it's okay, yeah. North Rockland High School in Fields, New York. Verizon That's Fire great. Sports, sports is yeah. proud to present awesome. New York High School Girls Soccer. Today, it's a big Class AA showdown between the two-time reigning sectional champs and the visiting Arlington Admirals as they take on their hosts in the North Rockland Red Raiders. Hello, everyone. Alongside Julianne Viotti, I'm Dan Long, and thanks for joining us. And Julianne, this doesn't have a feel of an early season, regular season game. It has more of a sectional final buzz around the field here between these two powers. Well, North Rockland won the league last year, so they're coming off a terrific season, and they're always a strong, strong program. And Arlington won the state championships just a couple of years ago, and they have not lost a game in Section 1 in a couple of seasons. So this would be a really good measuring stick early on for both teams. So with both programs being outstanding, you know that they're going to have a host of talented players. And for our highlight players, we look first to the players maker in the midfield for Arlington and Kendall Fayne. She's going to have to get it done and continue to get it done because she's a 2017 all-section player. She's expected to make some more noise again. A four-year varsity veteran who was a part of that 2016 state championship team. So she's got that pressure type experience they need and she's their leader both on and off the field and is a key piece of the puzzle this year once again. And North Rockland has the luxury of having one of the best goal scorers in section one in Kelly Brady. She's heading D1 for a reason and she's going to go to Central Connecticut State in a couple of years. She's their best scorer and player by a landslide. She's very fast, aggressive, has that competitive chip on her shoulder. So that's what they need. They need that kind of winner, and they need her to be great this season because as she goes, they go, and her physical style of play is relentless. She's not afraid to mix it up and knock you around out there. So settle in, fans, for what should be a good one. It's Arlington and North Rockland next on Verizon Files 1 Sports. This Workday is brought to you by Hoffman, Wachtell, and Rayo, your local workers' compensation attorneys since 1983. Continuity, experience, dedication to our clients, proven results. Call 914-385-4100 for a free consultation at either our White Plains or Mayapack office. Or go to mynycomplawyer.com. Auntie L's Farm Market and Bakery, a must-stop in Slotesburg for the best baked goods, fruits, vegetables, and all your planting and garden needs. Browse our country store while enjoying our delicious homemade specialties. We even bake our dog biscuits from scratch. Stop by Auntie L's for a quick propane fill-up. Auntie L's is still the best. Welcome back to North Rockland High School here. The site of this class double A showdown in the regular season between Arlington and North Rockland, the top two seeds in last season's class double A sectional playoffs. Now let's take a look at the starting lineups first for the visiting Admirals of Arlington. Perfect 4 0 on the season. On defense, Thompson, Murphy, and Granger. In the midfield, Fayan, Germano, Campos, and Karras. And up top in the forwards, Cannon, Stoll, and Coster. In goal for Arlington is going to be their sensational sophomore in Cassie Coster. Her second season on the varsity and has yet to surrender a single goal this season in her four games. And they are playing for their first year head coach, Kelly Hand, who is perfect 4-0 in her debut season. She served as the head coach of the Arlington Varsity B team the last four seasons. Now for the home-sided Red Raiders of North Rockland High School. On defense, Valdez, Christ, D'Esposito, and Sicardo. In the midfield, Megan and Jenna McMillan, along with Madison Rodriguez. And up top, the forwards, Zernecki, Brady, and Colsar. And in net is going to be Nicole Solicito, the senior already committed to Division II, Mount Olive, and already has nine saves to her name this season in staking her team out to a 2-0-1 start. For her head coach, in his third season at North Rockland, it's Pete McGovern. 29 wins, only five defeats and two draws, former North Rockland varsity boys coach and a college standout at Dominican College. 
Now, Julianne, it's time for your Verizon Files 1 Sports Keys to the Game. Well, for Arlington, they've got a win by committee. They've got no stud this season, so they've got to play well as a, as a whole every game. And then utilize their athleticism. They're very athletic, so they need to try to win it by out-muscling and out-hustling today. And then for North Rockland, handle momentum swings. Be able to respond if a goal is given up. Put them away when they have the chance where they've struggled a little bit and take advantage early. That will help with that momentum early on, which I know Coach McGovern is, is stressing a lot this season. On a beautiful day here in middle of September, this class between these two sides, and we can see the stars by class. Arlington leaning more on their upperclassmen, while North Rockland getting a lot of contributions so far this year from their juniors and sophomores. And we are underway. Arlington in their road white, North Rockland in their home all red kit. And immediately a foul. John Corsidis and Frank Kennelly are two officials for today. And the foul whistled against Kelly Brady in North Rockland will set up the offensive opportunity for Arlington. These two teams were on the collision course last season, but then North Rockland was tripped up in the section in the sectional class AA playoffs before Arlington eventually took care of matters and completed their back-to-back -back championship run. And that's where Peter McGovern of North Rockland said they, they found that they had the hiccup near the end of the season when they couldn't put teams away. That was where they struggled a little bit and what he wants to see change a bit this year. Now they graduated their entire defense pretty much, this North Rockland team. So they had to really pick up the slack with some of the youngsters coming off the bench. They've got a lot of freshmen off the bench there. As Rebecca Campos, who forced that turnover, will throw it in for Arlington. We were witness to one of the best games all season long last season, right at this field, when it was a come from behind dramatic victory for North Rockland against Mayapak, while the Indians enact revenge in those sectional playoffs and tripped up North Rockland not allowing them to match up against Arlington. Winning it when it really counted, which is the tough loss. Here's the first shot, easily into the breadbasket of Solicito, who makes the save. The first shot attempt, an easy one from outside from Arlington. Solicito had five saves against John Jay in the season opener, a team captain, and as we said, already verbally committed to play Division II soccer next season at Mount Olive. Now here's the dangerous Kelly Brady. Coming off a sophomore campaign with 16 goals, she'll lob it up and Coster will easily take that one in. Notice though Kelly Brady not afraid to pull the trigger trigger pretty deep with an early shot. Brady a junior but has been playing on this varsity since the eighth grade. A lot of games under her belt as it goes out of bounds in front of us. Will be a throwing up coming for North Rockland. Zernecki getting ahead on it. Clear it out to mid midfield. I expect to see North Rockland playing very aggressive. They are going to high pressure you defensively and then push it counter quickly. Here's that counter with Kelly Brady trying to track it down. Costa will come well off her line to boot it away. Out to the midfield, taken in by Megan McMillan. Ben, Megan McMillan with two goals and two assists already for this offense. Seven goals through their first three games of the season. Both teams certainly know how to score. Arlington, having scored four, four goals or 12 goals total on the season, three goals a game already this year. So even though both teams graduating a ton from last year's respective campaigns, they both still have plenty of playmakers on the field. And it's interesting because Kelly Hand said that they have had had trouble scoring at times this season, but it's good to see here for North Rockland, Brady getting her foot under this early. She gets a shot on goal. She's not afraid to pull that trigger pretty far. But expect to see the ball in her hands quite a bit today. She's very athletic. She's great when she gets that close to the goal and in scoring position. Bianca Christ sending it back to her keeper, Solicito. Knocked down, though, by Rebecca Krampos. Just outside the 18-yard box, it's Arlington looking to uncork another shot. Still loose, and now North Rockland clears it out to space on the far side. Finding Nicolette Colsar. And like I mentioned, Peter McGovern said that 
the big question mark for this team was their defense coming in. That's that's their youth, and they graduated a slew of defenders. But he's really impressed with how his freshmen and sophomores have stepped up defensively and taken on the role. And he was also just excited talking to us prior to the game, Julian, about having this opportunity for his team that. You know, he has a gauntlet of games that his team is about to embark on early in the season. He loves the challenge, and it sets the bar of where this team has to go to improve later on. You've got to play the tough teams early in order to really measure your team and get better. Price was taking it down the near side. Dispossessed. Now taken out with a counterattack the other way for Arlington. Back it goes to the defensive side. Casey Granger trying to control that one right in front of her bench. Back to Bryn Thompson, the 2017 All-Section Honorable Mention defender. Knocked out of bounds off of North Rockland, so it'll be a throw upcoming for Arlington. But you see the ball not being knocked around both sides, both ends pretty evenly distributed for both teams. Arlington only allowing one single goal so far this season through their four games. Nice ball. There's Kelly Brady lurking down the near wing. That's a beautiful pass, though, and Brady in a, in a perfect position. As she tries to curl that one to the far side, but it goes out. But Brady uses that speed, that quick burst, and always is so dangerous. You want to just pass it right in front of her, and she stays off uh, on sides there. Could have leaked a little bit forward and gotten the offsides call, but very smart player. Just couldn't quite get to it on time. But that's what you want to see, going out wide, getting it to your best player. And that's a fun matchup already that we have in store for us, where it looks like it's going to be Bryn Thompson, the star defender for Arlington, trying to mark Kelly Brady here this afternoon. Brady coming off an impressive two-goal, one-assist performance already this season against New Rochelle. Committed to play at Central Connecticut State University. And Bryn Thompson's going to Cortland, so she's she's got a strong presence on the field, especially defensively, for sure. Again, trying to connect with Brady. Just goes behind her. Knocked away by Granger, as Arlington will try to clear it out of their own defensive end. Good aggressive play there by North Rockland, stepping up, making the play was Jenna McMillan. As you'd expect, a lot of the battles are going to be happening in the midfield here this afternoon, the 50-50 chances, as that one deflects off of North Rockland will be a throw for Arlington. Well, the thing about Arlington that has been a positive for them is, although they say they've struggled a little bit to put the ball in the net, they've had eight different players score. So that's pretty impressive after four games. Zernecki crossing that one into the 18-yard box, trying to connect with Kolsar on the far side. Just gets away from her. Good pressure, though, displayed by Kolsar. Completely knocked out. It'll be a goal kick upcoming for Arlington, but North Rockland doing an effective job of putting that pressure and tilting the field in their direction in the early goings. That's what they want to do. They play very high pressure. That's their style, and they're going to do it, and they're going to try to be physical with you. Over onto the near sideline, Kelly Coster. Coster had the game-winning goal in their season opener in overtime against Somers, which proved to be the difference. Already with three goals and one assist on the season as Solosito drop kicks that one away. Outlet over to the near side. Garinger got it up the field, but now the other way it goes for North Rockland. Christ. Centering that one. Coster coming well out of her line. Here's Brady with the oh, empty net. Scores! The dangerous Kelly Brady strikes again for her fourth goal of the season and stakes her team out to an early 1-0 lead. Uh, that was a beautiful pass, though, too. I mean, what an assist to your best player in Kelly Brady. And beautiful job here handling the ball. And then Christ... Getting her foot on it. 
And how about the play of Kelly Brady, though, so far? She's so good at really leaking in front and leading the ball to her. She's so quick. She's long. She gets to it. She's super aggressive when she's that close on goal. First goal allowed this season by Cassie Coster. But it comes to maybe the best pure goal scorer in Section 1 in number 10, Kelly Brady. Brady scores and gives North Rockland an early 1-0 lead. Arlington looking to respond right away. But that shot is wide of the cage. The result in an upcoming goal kick. We give a lot of credit again to Bianca Christ for that last goal. Left-footed player. She's on the left side for that reason. And she's a good calming presence and she works well with Kelly Brady. That's her fourth of the season. At 16 goals last season as a sophomore. And we've already seen what Brady has in store for her junior campaign. Four goals and an assist on the season. One nothing lead for North Rockland. In this class double-A showdown here Somehow in the early portion of the regular properly, season. And that was one of my keys of what Coach line. McGovern said. He wanted to get on the board early. He wanted to gain momentum early because with a team like Arlington, you just you have to come out hard. You can't have any letdowns either because they'll exploit any letdowns. So a nice start. Down North Rockland looking for more. Here comes Brady again trying to find service inside the box. Has a teammate, a deflection, and Coster will be able to corral it before anything else happens against her. And this is also Juliana Arlington's side that is not used to giving up goals. They surrendered five total goals all of last season. But there's a lot of space in here. Look at all the space there is in the middle of the field by the box to work. I mean, that's that should be flooded with more white jerseys. And they're allowing, well, really, the red zone to be kind of open and available and North Rockland is finding a way to cross the ball and get it in there. Madison Rodriguez had that opportunity the last time out off of the service from Kelly Brady. Here's Brady again with the ball. Tries the diagonal pass but stepping up to make the plays the defense for Arlington. So an early goal here for the Red Raiders in their home opener in the 2018 season. Now we'll see what type of response the Admirals have. First time that they trail all season. At the midfield. Trying to connect with a pass to Geringer. Intercepted in the play though by Christ. And again, North Rockland, a long service trying to get Kelly Brady to run underneath it. She gets past her defender, takes the shot low. Not a lot of velocity on that and allows Coster to make the save, but once again, Kelly Brady producing another scoring opportunity. She's so good at running this left flank, and her teammates find her. What a beautiful job here getting to the ball. She's quick, she's long, just doesn't get enough mustard on the shot, but she's finding herself in a position to score and get towards goal, and that's key. It's all the opportunities are all that matter here, because you're going to capitalize. There hasn't been an answer defensively right now for number 10 in red. Remember, she came up as an 8th grader. She's a junior this year, so she's got so much experience. Now Zernecki running down the near flank. Getting past Thompson, trying to center that one and just goes past the goal mouth. All the way to the far wing. Still inbounds, taken in by Arlington, trying to go the other way. So plenty of opportunities in the early goings here for North Rockland on offense. They try to connect, and Arlington trying to go forward. Good, strong defensive play in the midfield, though, by North Rockland. Standing the tall was Megan McMillan. Gets the ball back. Now goes all the way back into the offensive end again. Zernecki trying to race under it, and she'll earn the corner. Good hustle in the early goings here for the Red Raiders. And that's the first corner of the game, and again, in transition, a nice job for North Rockland with the cross. I mean, that's been a key. Zernecki able to use that left foot and cross the ball into the box area, so they have been really dominating this left side of the field. As Jenna McMillan will be doing the honors of setting up on the corner. They have to always be aware of where number 10 is lurking in red. As Kelly Brady already has struck for one here today. First corner goes all the way out to the outside. 
As we could hear Coach McGovern yell and get to the corner, trying to get another corner kick, but instead it goes off of North Rockland last and results in an upcoming goal kick for Coster. But just the aggressive start that Coach McGovern was hoping for from his team here today, especially against a program as star-studded as Arlington. 20-1 last season, they won their second straight double-A sectional title. They lost 2-1 to Monroe Woodbury in the regional final, and they allowed only a total of five goals all season long, 17 shutouts to their name. They have seven returners, only three are true starters from the 2017 season, so this team does not have the two studs that they had. Or they, they had a lot of studs last year, so they've got to do it by committee, which actually can make them even more dangerous in some regards, because you don't have to key in on one player. You've really got to play them straight up. Arlington trying to clear it out of their own defensive ends. But Arlington's got a big school too. I mean, these are big programs with schools that have a lot of youngsters coming up. Had over 70 different players in tryouts for the Arlington soccer program at the end of the summer. So definitely, as you mentioned, a lot of players to draw upon and also the success breeds that culture. As the ball goes backwards into the defensive end. Mian struggling with it. Zernecki. Look at nice her hand move. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Couple of nice dribbles and takes the shot. Handled by Koster, but nice moves there up front by Olivia Zernecki, the junior. Don't let her size fool you either. I mean, she's very fast, athletic, can really hit the ball and attack with her speed. But she utilizes that skill with the ball beautifully. Zernecki had a goal in the season opener against John Jay. And if you get her one-on-one, -on -one, she's going to be dangerous. Rodriguez, lofting it to the far side. Just a little too far, but the tic-tac-toe passing has been effective in the early goings for North Rockland. Kind of get the ball, don't think about it, and outlet quickly and have your teammates run under it. When you get a lot of skilled players too, you're able to do that because it doesn't matter who gets it at the other end. They've got a lot of versatile players that they can move around a bit, that can handle, that can dribble, that can really get it up the field and, and move forward. Another turnover forced by North Rockland here. Setting it up for McMillan. But she's dispossessed from behind and here comes Arlington looking to force the counter. Olivia Sicardo, good defensive work stepping up. Now some numbers opportunity for the Admirals of Arlington. But they get it inside the 18-yard box and then a slow roller to Solicito, handled easily there by the senior. Arlington hasn't had that really great opportunity on goal. I mean, they've gotten a couple shots, but they haven't really had that moment where you said to yourself, wow, that was a great shot and, and a good opportunity that was missed. They just really have it. Again, trying to earn possession in the midfield. Arlington underneath it. Here's Fayen. Fayen stopped with a rush up the field. As it goes up top and once again trying to drop it back into the offensive end. After the last couple of moments have been dominated possession-wise by Arlington, now a couple of opportunities here for Arlington. But they loft it up, but it'll go out of bounds and will be a goal kick upcoming for Solicito and North Rockland. As we look at Kelly Brady again, scored in the early goings of this game to stake her team out to an early one to nothing lead. They're on a sunny day in Fields, New York. Dan Long, Julianne Viani, happy that you could join us for some high school soccer here on Verizon Files 1 Sports and a game that could definitely have playoff seeding implications down the line in Class AA. And that's down the line. I mean, it's early. And even talking to Peter McGovern, you know, this is a game that it matters and it doesn't at the same time because it's so early. And, you, you know, you want to win every game. Don't get me wrong. But it's a good a good opportunity for both teams to see what they really need to work on as the season progresses. It's not going to make or break their season, but certainly some rivalry here, and you want to get the W. Brady was knocked down, so the second foul against Arlington here in the first half. 
as we're just a little over 20 minutes left to go here in the first half of action. Free kick situation upcoming for Jenna McMillan. Had a goal in their win against Scarsdale. McMillan lofting this one up. Headed forward by Arlington. But not out of harm's way just yet. A big ambitious shot. Taken on one bounce by Coster. But again, North Rockland being aggressive and just trying to get as many shots and bounces on net as possible. They've got great, a great nose for the goal, and that's their style. And so far right now, they're playing their style of soccer, and neither team has really seen each other play because every single game that each of them has had has been on the same night. So it's a little hard to go watch. Arlington was close to linking up with Casey Stowell, number 19. She was all by her lonesome if that pass got through. A foul at midfield will go against Arlington in an opportunity here for North Rockland. 3-1 in terms of fouls for Arlington so far in the first half. Free kick will once again be taken by McMillan close to midfield. Here's Christ set to operate. Headed forward again. Another long distance shot, well wide of the net, and a goal kick upcoming. With under 20 minutes left to go here in this fast played first half of action. A very tactical North Rockland group. They're, they're very sound fundamentally, especially up top. I mean, they're really good at maneuvering and getting these opportunities. And outside of a couple of opportunities that we've seen recently, they've really tilted the field in their offensive direction here in the first half. We've seen the ball primarily on the left side of the field here what, from North Rockland. And what they do is they create space. There's a lot of space, and you notice that there's an, an, an art to that, to creating space and looking for the space. And North Rockland finds that, that hole, and they go at you. Kelly Coster had it taken away by Rodriguez. Up to Brady. Good control there from Brady, getting past one defender who tried to body her up. Not using that body and physique. She's not a big player either. Brady with a long outlet. It's her necky getting knocked down as she was going for the ball. Oster will come out and take it as well. So as we've seen, even surrendering that first goal to Brady, Cassie Coster is still an ultra-aggressive goalie coming well out of her net. Yeah, that was really dangerous when she came out. She covers a lot of ground. She's smart. She's young, remember. She's only a sophomore, so she still has a lot to learn, but she trained with their keeper last year, didn't play a lot last year as a freshman because she was injured, first of all, quite a bit. But, you know, Coster coming out of goal here, being aggressive and reading the situation well, and she really needed to come up because this would have been a one-on-one -on -one situation with Cernecki, who is really tough. She's going to come at you hard. So I think that was a smart move. But an even better play by Kelly Brady in the midfield, gathering that ball, coming down with it, being physical, using her butt and her, her back to control the ball. Coster with three saves so far in the first half. Here's a long distance shot. Coster eyeing that one up and not touching it, so it will go out of bounds and results in a goal kick for Arlington. Surrendered her first goal of the season early in this game when Kelly Brady scored. Before that, had four clean sheets through the first four games of the year for the Admirals. Her sister Kelly has been outstanding as a scorer up top for Arlington this season. Taken in by Megan McMillan, part of the sister duo here in North Rockland. With a lobbed up shot. Once again, we'll go wide of the net from Bianca Christ. Will be another goal kick, as we're just a little over 17 minutes left here in the first half of play. And North Rockland is dominating this end of the field. Opportunity after opportunity, but they're really looking for it, and they're gaining the ball back and keeping possession. Nine shots to just four from Arlington. And they're nine pretty, and some of the shots are not, are not the best shots, but a lot of them have been really pretty solid shots. And they've been generating with the hustle as we see here, the back line stepping up for North Rockland, also Kelly Brady winning those 50-50 battles. The, the hustle and muscle, Dan, I like to say, but they're the stronger team. There's the hustle play by Jenna McMillan. 
Kept it inbounds. Trying to step up and maybe an opportunity to counter here. Trying to lead pass to free Fayen, but it goes a little too far past her. And Solacito allowed to boot it down. Uh, Fayen hasn't gotten a chance to really get on the ball and get the opportunities that she needs. She needs to get some touches for Arlington to garner a goal here. Here's a mistake leading to an opportunity. The shot just wide of the net as Casey Stoll was so close to tying it up at 1-1. And that's a, that's a shame because she had the defense down at her feet and stole one-on-one -on -one here pretty much with the goalie in Solicito and she cannot put her foot on it properly and in goal she goes too wide to the right. And that's where you gotta, really got to settle yourself down. You're almost so excited that you're that open. So prime opportunity goes the wayside there for Arlington. They'll still reclaim possession here. Definitely the best opportunity they've had, though. They stole a freshman, but already with two goals and an assist on the season for Coach Kelly Hand. And she's really talented for a freshman. She's driven. She's got the will to succeed. Just goes a little too long, or, or wide, excuse me. Here's a deep throw in for Arlington, bouncing around inside the box. But cleared out of harm's way by Logan Valdez. Fayen. The dangerous playmaker and the captain trying to take it and a collision ensues and a foul is whistled against Fayette. Will be a free kick upcoming for North Rockland. Fayette's got to feel frustrated. North Rockland doing a pretty decent job on her, flustering her a bit, making it tough for her to get opportunities. And soccer is all about really doing things on the fly. I mean, coaches are going to change things on the fly as they read the game. Brady trying to link up with Christ. Another big collision near midfield as we play on. Here's the long ball service for Kelly Brady running underneath it. Trying to add to her count in this game. Trying to curl it and center it to the far post. As you want to see if somebody would dip on that weak side on the cross. Knocked out of bounds right in front of the Arlington sideline. Under 14 minutes left to go here in the first half. one nothing lead at home for the Red Raiders. Enjoying their 2018 home opener after starting off the season with three consecutive road matches. Here's a hustle for Arlington, getting those service inside the box. Stoles all by lonesome here. She has it, takes the shot, and Solacito makes the save. Uh, Solacito, so tough. She's grown so much back there in goal, so solid. Second save for Solacito, and once again, thwarting Stoll of her opportunity of first goal of the day. Now it's a lead pass for Christ, but coming well out again is Coster to cut it away. And she's so good at controlling the box, and in that time Solacito just, she's kind of far up too. That could have been a goal opportunity, but good hands. The last couple of moments though, Julianne, Seems like Arlington is finding more room to operate on offense. They're getting some rhythm, and that's a good sign. As they're nearing the 12-minute mark here in the first half, they want to start to feel like they're getting the rhythm, and there's always going to be momentum switches in games. So it's really important that Arlington does grab a hold of some of that momentum going into halftime. As we saw Coach Kelly Hands looking on, still perfect in her varsity coaching career. 4-0 since taking over this program. With Rockland winning possession and quickly trying to counter the other way, trying to free up number 10, Kelly Brady. Fayen by the corner flag. Esposito trying to mark her. Still inside the box. Salcido so lets it go wide. Will be another goal kick, but Arlington again trying to generate some offense in the last couple of minutes. It's been a good close to this first half. Well, they're playing with more of a sense of urgency here and keeping the ball down at their offensive end of the field. And a few shots here in a row on North Rockland. Last three shots of the game all coming the way of Arlington. As the Admirals are trying to find that equalizing goal, they trail one to nothing. Cole Solicito with a couple of saves, stopping them. Come 
Pass to the near side. Karras. Fain trying to lob it up to Stowell. And once again, they're trying those quick plays and the hustle by Brady making it work and it eventually went out of bounds, but always the hustle from number 10. You can see why she's one of the most gifted players in this area. It's never a dead play. She's in really good shape. When she holds the ball, she can. She can dribble it up. She can distribute. And she's a super aggressive player on goal. I mean, as she goes, this team goes. And she is going to be joining her, Peter McGovern's former player, Brianna Williams, who is already at Central Connecticut State. So she'll have a familiar place to face to play with there. As North Rockland centers the pass. Up top now, it's Jenna McMillan. Quick one touch on the far wing, but a little too strong as it goes out of bounds. And also with Kelly Brady, she did not waste any time. As soon as summer vacation came for most people, she was out in training. And she was also selected, Julianne, for an invitation-only training program in France with Olympique Lyonnaise. Not too bad. Not too bad. A cool place to be able to visit while you're at it. So trained with some of the best players in all of France, the reigning World Cup champs. And then came back here and has already been staking her claim as one of the best players in Section 1, already scoring her fourth goal of the season here earlier today. Monty St. Fleur, the midfield, back to Madison Rodriguez. St. Fleur. Gets it knocked out of bounds off of Arlington, so a quick throw-in upcoming for North Rockland as we're under 10 minutes left to go in the opening half of play. These two teams were the top overall seeds in Class AA last season. Arlington, the two-time reigning sectional champs, have not lost a game in Class AA since 2016. That really is incredible when you think about it. To be able to go that long without losing in your section, that's a lot of pressure. It's a program synonymous with greatness in Class AA and won seven sectional titles in program history. If you're going to beat them, though, this is the year to do it. They lost quite a bit. So it goes to the midfield. Back to Solicito. And stepping up and now trying to make some pressure happen. It's Kelly Coster. Nice head ball. And Madison Rodriguez getting the ball up out of there. Good defensive play there by Casey Granger knocking it off the Red Raider. It's game possession for her side. Knocked out of bounds, and the hustle for Kelly Brady allows possession to stay with North Rockland. Now she got bumped on her way over there. As we always hear in the sport of soccer, the work rate of your forwards. Are they willing to come back and play defense in the midfield or even back on the defensive side? We see Kelly Brady in number 10 all over the field here so far in the first half. Now she's in really good shape, and she's a hustler. Christ with a throw in. She was one of those players that helped generate that opportunity that Kelly Brady eventually cashed in for the goal. Jenna McMillan reversing it to the far side. Nothing that you see from North Rockland is they can play that small ball as well. Here's Kelly Coster. Three goals and an assist on the season for the senior. Restarting play. Oh, what a kick. Had a recipient on the other end just lurking. That was number seven, Rebecca Campos, who was waiting inside the 18-yard box. Just missed her. Be a throw in there. And Sophia Germano was trying to get it to her teammate. Good defensive work there for the Red Raiders as North Rockland looks to counter. 
They've certainly been winning the possession battles here in the first half in the midfield. And that's on Grace Babcock gaining the possession. St. Fleur. Knocked away. She's been effective since coming into the game. The sophomore Amani St. Fleur. And another sub about to come in the other side for North Rockland. Looks like it's Victoria McFadden checking into the game. As St. Fleur will take a seat. So we just have about six minutes left to go here in the first half of action. The throw-in was intercepted but quickly knocked out of play. As we'll see, it looks like Christ might be a little shaken up after the referee is saying that she'll have to sub off the field to the far side. Oh, maybe she's bleeding. As Bianca Christ, the senior, the defender who's been outstanding and also bringing the play up the wings to the offensive side, she'll take a break. And she's also their coach on the field, according to Coach McGovern. He's, he needs her on the field, so not a good sign, of course, but a good sign she's walking or jogging off. Looks like something around her mouth area. So she'll be attended to by the training staff and it'll still be possession for North Rockland in the near sideline. Instead, it's gonna be Madison Rodriguez throwing it in. Tries to link up with Brady who knocks it down. And cleared to midfield, but not out of harm's way yet. Big collision in midfield, sweep play on, clean play. An outlet pass will send Arlington down the near sideline. Elizabeth Karras. 1v1 against Logan Valdez. And eventually McFadden came in to clear it out. Still a throw-in upcoming for Arlington as we approach five minutes left to go in the first. Ranger, the junior, throwing it in. Fan. Trying to link up just outside the box, but each time North Rockland has been very good at an adept Julianne of stepping up just to make that last play. You know, it is their physical. North Rockland has strong bodies, they're moving, and they're getting to the spot defensively to step in. Before they throw it in, Arlington making a sub onto the field. Fan. Gets back to Brady, makes the turn on her defender. Here comes Kelly Brady again. Good big defensive play there by Thompson stepping up. Really smart by Thompson. That was dangerous territory to have Brady in full sprint mode. Jenna McMillan trying to link up with her sister Megan in the midfield. This is a pivotal four minute mark. If North Rockland scores here, that can really put Arlington in a hole that they've got to climb out of in the second half. They've done a good job not allowing that second goal since early on. Rodriguez booting it down. Now to space it goes. Here's Brady. Cross field pass, perfection there for Kelly Brady. And that's the way to get it out of the left side. It's been over lingering on this left side for a long time. Here's Ernecki, he was trying to load up. Defender stepping up in front of her, blocking the would-be shot attempt. Coster. Hi, Daddy. Now Fayen. Who playing? Fayen with two goals on the season. Fayen was all section as a junior last season for Arlington. Germano. Good interception there for North Rockland. They'll boot it down the other way with under three to go here in the first half. Could be a potential preview of a sectional final between these two later on this season. Solicito's clearance was blocked down, still loose in the box. Dangerous nice. opportunity there for the North Rockland defense. Oh, nice help there. Way to find your goalie and help her out. And can't tell what number that was over there. Looked like it might have been Sicardo number 23. 23 here was right in the area where she was able to help out Solicito. 
and back her up. That could have been dangerous. Especially with the dangerous Kendall Fayne lurking there, number five in white. Sicardo cleared it out. Good hustle again by North Rockland, but it deflects off of Megan McMillan will be a throw for Arlington. Sydney Cannon, number three, who just checked back into the game moments ago. Kelly Coster orchestrating the offense in the midfield. Sicardo once again, savvy play defensively, just taking her time and just giving up the throw in here rather than avoiding any other would-be disaster for North Rockland. That could have been a corner, it could have been way worse. Arlington trying to close out the first half and find that equalizing goal against North Rockland here on the road. Germano dispossessing. The captain linking up with her teammates running behind the back line but cleared away. There'll be another throw upcoming for Arlington. Logan Valdez certainly in making her presence known. Valdez getting a boot on it again. Knocking it out of bounds will be another throw upcoming for Rebecca Campos. As we have under a minute left to go here in the first half of play in Fields, New York. one nothing lead for North Rockland. Inside the box it goes. Ball is loose and finally cleared away by North Rockland. Zernecki now trying to go 1v2. She does an effective job of chipping it just forward and killing off valuable time here in the end of the first half. Nice work there by Olivia Zernecki. Now you know the clock's ticking right now, so you've got to get the ball forward as quick as possible. Here's Zernecki as it will be knocked out of bounds in front of the Arlington sideline. And that should be the final play of this first half. As the time will expire and the horn will sound and North Rockland will enjoy a one to nothing lead after the first 40 minutes of action here at home in their 2018 home opener. It's two of the big time powers in class AA. It's the North Rockland Red Raiders and their star in Kelly Brady scoring a goal and taking a 1-0 advantage with them into halftime here on Verizon BIOS One Sports. BIOSOneNews.com forward slash Lower Hudson Valley. The best way to get Wellington by a score of 1-0 in this class AA showdown in section one. It's been a thrilling first half of play with action abound and early start, a fast start for North Rockland. Uh, we said North Rockland would have to take advantage early, and what better way than to get the ball in the feet of your best player and Kelly Brady getting a lot of opportunities early on. And this was a really beautiful cross to her. I mean, she could not have been in a more perfect position to score, and she took advantage of it. She's super long, lean, and athletic, and they're finding her at the other end of the passing. And Arlington really didn't have a lot of opportunities early. They got a few shots on goal, but it wasn't easy for them, especially in the first half of the first half. This was probably the best opportunity that they did get, and they were not able to capitalize off of it. You know, the defense falls down, and that's where you've got to finish. And then this one, just easily going right at the goalie, you've got to be able to test her a little bit better in the second half. But a better job by Arlington near the second portion of the first half. North Rockland with the advantage in the shot category and on the scoreboard where it matters the most as they have a 1-0 lead over Arlington here at halftime. Stick around for the start of the second half between these two powers in Class AA in Section 1 here on Verizon by us one Sports. Part of the second half here at North Rockland with the Red Raiders on top, one to nothing. And let's take some time to revisit your Verizon Files One Sports keys to the game, Julia. Arlington's got a win by committee still, and they, they haven't scored yet, and they they haven't been utilizing athleticism. I think North Rockland has been utilizing that. North Rockland has handled momentum swings, and they've taken advantage early, and that's why they're up one nothing right now. They've executed their keys to the game so far. We'll see if they can finish it off. This could be an impressive win for North Rockland and. Arlington, they've been the queens of this section. They're not used to not only losing, but also just trailing in games. They're going to see what type of answer this young team has. 
for head coach Kelly Hand. And Brady gets us underway to begin the second half. Kelly Brady's goal is the lone goal of the first 40 minutes. And the difference so far in the Red Raiders' lead over Arlington. Looking for Brady on the far wing. Double team comes to her and it gets knocked out of bounds, but it will be a throw upcoming for North Rockland. A pivotal first part of this half for North Rockland again because they did score early in the, in the first half. So will they catch Arlington sleeping or will Arlington come out here with some of the momentum that they started to garner here the second part of the first half? They had that one stretch where they had three consecutive shots, forcing Solicito into a pair of saves as well as it gets knocked out of bounds, and Arlington will now have the offensive throw. Fayette lobbing that pass up. That goes sailing out of bounds just near the post, and Solicito will be a goal kick. Arlington now with the last four shots in this game as Rebecca Campos gave it a ride there. And it's good to see also number nine in red near screen and Bianca Christ back onto the field as she had to sub off late in that first half with an apparent injury. Uh, they need her on the field. She's the one that refocuses the players and leads them vocally. Miss hit out of bounds by Karras and will be a throw for North Rockland. Sofia D'Esposito, the sophomore. You feel the wind picking up a little bit too here, which could affect how the ball moves. It's been a be beautiful September afternoon in the mid-70s. Not, also, not too also, humid. Right, it's also a grass field, which the ball bounces pretty nicely. It doesn't go all over the place, stays in bounds. And it is the perfect day for a game. Foul from behind against Arlington, their fifth foul against them. Here today, as we're at North Rockland High School in Fields, New York, Dan Long, Julian Viani, happy that you could join us as Arlington taking on North Rockland here in this Section 1 Class AA showdown. Ball with an opportunity just outside the top of the box, and Solicito not taking any chances will dive to make the stop. Another opportunity on goal, and Solicito has had, she's had some tests. That time it came from Kelly Coster outside the box. A five shots in a row. There's Coster again linking up with her teammates. As Arlington starting to flip the field in their favor. And they're knocking at the door of a goal, so North Rockland is going to have to recognize that. And certainly with the entirety of the second half facing you, if you're North Rockland, you can't take your foot off the gas, especially against a team the likes of Arlington. Zernecki getting it to Christ. Christ, nice job of dropping that pass off in the far wing for Rodriguez. And getting it to space and then making your teammate run to the ball just in front of them is the key. Rodriguez will play it back. Trying to connect with a pass in the midfield. Find Nicolette Colsar. Pulsar, the sophomore, had an assist in their opening tie of the season. 2-2 tie on the road against John J. East Fishkill. Pulsar's pass intercepted. Knocked down. Jenna Jelitica, number 15, checking onto the field for the first time today for Arlington. And that quick shot, again, going wide of the net. But Arlington, very much like North Rockland did in the first half, really just quickly firing and just getting any opportunities on net and seeing what could happen. Well, the more opportunities that you get, the more likely the odds. It's pretty simple, but you also want to make sure you're getting good shots too and not just pulling the trigger in poor positions. Now, North Rockland does have to get back to that. That's how they were. They were more aggressive in the first part of the first half, and they kind of laid off the gas, like you said, a little bit and they're gonna have to get possession. It's all about keeping possession, and Arlington has been keeping possession. They've done a better job answering North Rockland's first initial punch to the face. Jelica 
On the far side, tried to connect with Sydney Cannon, the senior, but it just goes out of her grasp. It'll be a throw and upcoming for Christ. I also think North Rockland's style in the first half was the more aggressive defense. They were high pressure, and they've laid off a little bit. They've got to go back to the high pressure. Here's a lofted shot. Just wide again for Solicito, not really pressed into service on that one as it looks like Arlington quickly just setting and firing that will here through that last shot attempt was from Kendall Fayen. As Pete McGovern barking out instructions from his chair, third season in charge of North Rockland, previously the Suffern volunteer assistant coach, before that 16 years as the varsity coach here for the boys program and then he, North Rockland. And then he told me he took a break to have kids. I mean, he's got one in seventh grade, one in 10th right now. So he coaches his daughters as well. Collegiately, he was a standout at Dominican College. So he has just had his whole life centered around the sport of soccer and most of it being here at North Rockland. 29-5-2 record already. In his third season here in North Rockland, he has built up the Red Raiders once again to be a power. Like you mentioned, Julianne, league champs last season, and they're looking for even more this year. Free kick for North Rockland. Inside the box, Brady getting a header on it. Ball still loose out in front, taking a shot, and a save made by Coster. The follow-up does not go in as he'll go for a goal kick. Oh, wow, that was nearly in. See the ball just bouncing around here. Didn't even see who, who who touched it exactly, but what a shot on goal. And that was McMillan for North Rockland getting a piece of it, the freshman. Cassie Coster making her fourth save of the day and maybe her biggest one yet. How'd that though for instincts? Now here's Arlington trying to serve it back into the box themselves. The ball was loose in front. Coster made a save on the other end, and now Arlington looking to respond. They'll loft it just to the outside of the net. Another goal kick upcoming for North Rockland for the best scoring opportunity, certainly in the second half for the Red Raiders. They have a Cassie Coster with this save. A difficult, difficult save. The ball bouncing around here a little bit. Megan McMillan nearly putting it in. Megan McMillan with two goals and two assists on the season coming into today's contest had a goal and assist in their opener against John Jay. And she's the sister of Jenna McMillan, the, the junior. And only a freshman, Megan McMillan. Here's Zernecki. One on three. Not phasing her as she'll take a shot on the run and just lofted high of the net. It will be a goal kick, but Zernecki has been using her speed to her advantage down that wing all game long. Yeah, this flank area is exactly what she loves, and one-on-one, -on -one, I said that, that's one of her best qualities and attributes. Any day, she's one versus one on someone. She's, I'm going to go for her. I'm going to vote for her because she is so tough on that outside, and that's what they expect. And she did that a little bit in the first half and laid off it, laid off it a little bit. She needs to continue to be aggressive because she's really quick and good with the ball. And Julianne, in the last couple of moments, a little bit of a pushback from North Rockland after Arlington had raced out to try to garner control of the second half. That's Coach McGovern's side leading one to nothing. They know no lead is safe here against a sectional championship team in Arlington. Foul whistles against the Admirals. Good possession there by number eight, Jenna McMillan, drawing the foul. Free kick upcoming for Valdez back in her defensive end. Germano. Over to Karras. Sydney Cannon. <laughs> Fan. Over to Coster. Good step up there by Christ for North Rockland to win possession back and send Brady sprinting down the far side. Thompson tried to back heel it. Said that it went out of bounds off of Brady, so Thompson with a quick throw in. Good knockdown there by McMillan. Cernecki tried to uncork a quick shot. Blocked out in front of her. And that time it goes out of bounds. 
It'll be a throw up coming for Arlington, who's been playing steady defense in the last couple of minutes. Certainly making them work back there to start. Megan McMillan. Nice. We had the opportunity a couple of minutes ago. Getting it over for Kelly Brady. Brady lofting that one. Don't know if it was a shot or a pass to the far side. A lot of mustard on that shot. I, I thought she would take the shot. She was looking for somebody to crash the box on the opposite side, but there was no one around. But definitely in the second half, we've seen number six in red, Megan McMillan, the freshman, really asserting herself in the midfield and creating a lot of opportunities for Brady and company. And certainly she missed on that in tight one that could have doubled the lead for North Rockland. She's young, but she's taken a major role on this team, and they throw her in the middle sometimes, and they add, they add her to the attack position. She's really strong, so very aggressive. It doesn't play like a freshman. Speaking of McMillan, stepped up there. Down to Kelly Coster. Back to Kendall Fayen. Casey Stoll, number 19, was lurking out in front as one of the forwards. She had a couple of prime opportunities in the first half that just went by the board. That could have deadlocked the game at one all. And here comes North Rockwood. Cernecki. Knocked out of bounds by Germano. Good hustle for her, but a great field pass reversing from the far to the near side by North Rockland. As often as you can switch sides of the field, the better. You want to be able to get the crosses. It shifts the defense, and they can fall asleep and miss opportunities. Kelly Coster trying to lot Lob one down. Kendall Fayen. One weave one against Valdez. Gets by her. Lobs that one. Far post. Was trying to link up with a teammate, but it just deflected off the legs. That's what you want. Teammate though. there. And Kendall Fayen on the left hand side here. She's the one that leads this team. Beautiful cross. I mean, that's where you want it. You need a player crashing the box right there. And you saw what she was trying to do, but could not capitalize. On that situation was Kenyon. Kyra Kenyon, number 26, the sophomore with two goals on the season, has checked into the game for Coach Kelly Hand. But that's the first time that we've really seen Fayen going onto the wing rather than just attacking down the middle of the field. And it looks like that could be a recipe for success for Arlington. Got back to the midfield. Christ, heading it backwards. Still keeping it in play, but Arlington will recover. Now here's the pass, trying to lead Megan McMillan. Esposito, knocked down. Still in play to Zernecki. It's by her defender and Thompson. McMillan's still with it. Zernecki now chasing down the near side. Germano marking her inside the box. Softly still out in front. A lot of contact as Brady went to the turf. I'll tell you what, Zernecki is a brick house. She is so strong. But she gets the ball on this right wing. It's really tough to move her. Dangerous couple of moments there for Arlington as Brady was lurking right in front of Coster. They collided, but the referee said play on. Okay. Miss hit on that pass connection will go out of bounds for a goal kick, but North Rockland getting closer and closer, Julianne, to doubling up their advantage here against Arlington. They have a lot of athletes up top. And with Zernecki's speed on the wing, that just could be a dangerous... 1-2 with her and Brady all season yeah, long. She's probably their most athletic player, and that's what I mean. Like she, she's really muscular. She's really fit and athletic. And she doesn't, as you've been saying, get bodied off by even bigger defenders. She was going one-on-one -on -one with Bryn Thompson, the top defender for Arlington, and didn't give an inch. Uh, my prediction is she gets the next goal. There's McMillan in the midfield. Over to Zernecki. Zernecki takes a low shot. 
and swallowed up by Coster. I was about to say, if she wailed on that one and hit it in the top corner, I'd be asking you for lottery yeah. numbers as well. <laughs> exactly. You just save for Coster. You just sense the, that urgency she's playing with. She's getting the ball quite a bit. Fane trying to reverse that pass to the far side, but headed down by Christ of North Rockland. Here's Zernecki again. Matched up with Germano. Just can't keep it in bounds, though, as it trickles out of play. And will be another throw for Arlington in their defensive end. As both teams make subs at midfield before the ensuing throw, Germano will come off the field. And Desiree Meehan, number 22, coming on to the field for the first time for Arlington. Here's Brady lurking inside, one-timer, just missing to that far post. What touch there, quickly the coordination for Brady. And when you don't see her miss too often, but she is lurking by goal here. Nice job with the long ball, something North Rockland's been really good with today is that long ball. She just can't quite put it in. 4-4, four, four, both teams with the Shot discrepancy here in the second half. And once again on the tail end of that passing play was Christ for North Rockland. She's the one who linked up with Brady in the first half. And you see Coster now is in the sunlight as the sun is kind of starting to go down, so it's going to be tougher for her to see. Lobbing it up to Germano, who's now playing up top. But she's knocked off the ball. She'll earn a corner for her team, but she had a prime opportunity inside the box. Quickly with it is Sophia Germano as North Rockland gets back to try to defend first corner of the day for Arlington. Solacino jumping up and securing the ball. That's a nice job, but a really beautiful kick. I mean, this is the kind of serve you need. And there's no one there, really. I mean, Solacino is just aggressive and goes after it. Still a 1-0 lead for North Rockland. We haven't seen a ton of set pieces, really. Here comes Brady trying to run underneath it, chipping it over the goalie, but over the crossbar as well and out of bounds. Will be a goal kick, but Brady getting closer and closer to getting her second goal of the afternoon. I thought this one was in. Again, a long ball. They just know how to kick it right in front of her, and she's so fast she gets to it. They push it in front of her into space. That's what every coach will tell you. Get it to space, and she's going to find it. And she's so dangerous, also as one of the most skilled players in the area for that first touch that always kind of betrays players. It always falls cleanly on her on her foot. As Brady tries to race underneath it, here's that first touch, trying to lob it over Coster. It goes out of bounds again, but number 10, it's like blood in the water here. She's sensing an opportunity here to finish this one off. They are itching for their second goal, and you just sense that they want to put that in there so that they can have a little bit more of a cushion. And again, she nearly puts this one in. That was another risky situation. Coster coming all the way out. Coming into today's game, Cassie Coster had four clean sheets that not allowed a single goal on the season for Arlington. Allowed a goal to Kelly Brady, her fourth goal of the season. And that's where we stand right now. Over the near side it goes. Julia Howe, number 18, out in front and a miss hit. For North Rockland. Well, that's what you got to put in. Couldn't get on top of the ball. A couple of Red Raiders were lurking inside the 18-yard box. And uh, you just have to put that in, but she couldn't get on top of it. It is a tough. It's a tough position and angle when you when you don't have time to stop the ball and then wind up, and you have to basically kick it on the go. Arlington just really holding on in the last couple of moments here as North Rockland has really been bringing it offensively. But still, the deficit is only one for the Admirals. A lot of the offense comes from this. This is a great defensive play and a counterattack. As Brady was trying to set Howe free down the wing. McMillan. Fayen kicking it out to space. Colsar. Now we'll see what Arlington has as they play 1-2 down the side. Coppola try to center that pass. 
Good defensive work up top there for number 12, Grace Babcock of North Rockland. Working down that far wing and earning another corner is going to be Arlington. And they're finding a way to get these corner kicks and they're really strong with their foot. Remember that last corner kick by Germano was a really solid serve. Has a couple of subs coming on to the field, including number eight, Elizabeth Karras, in white for Arlington. We'll see if they'll have anyone inside the six yard mouth right in front of Solacito and company. Two corners, the second one of the day for Arlington, one for North Rockland. Solacito getting a piece of it, the ball is loose still. And on the ground, Solacito will take in the carom. Talk about being in a perfect spot in the location. Because this is a nice lift. I mean, that's the second one in a row where that lift by Germano has gotten her in a perfect position. But an even better play by Solcito is very aggressive. She's a veteran. And one of the things they're working on with her is her communication skills and, and her talking. That's something that she's gotten much better at as she's gotten older. Now she's a senior, she's louder, but typically not a very loud player, not a very vocal player, but she's controlled the box beautifully. And once again on that corner, you saw number 19, Stoll, who had her opportunities in the first half, kind of wondering how, what was that type of bounce that it took right into the arms of the netminder who was sitting down. But still, Arlington marches on, trailing one to nothing. The wind swirling here in Fields, New York. A pleasant September afternoon. Happy that you could join us. Dan Long, Julianne Viani, happy that we are present for this Class AA showdown between these two teams that might lock horns later on in the sectional playoffs. Inside the box it goes, cleared out of harm's way by North Rockland. Zernecki getting underneath it. Great couple of moves to get past a pair of defenders. And again, the long ball, the defense into offense. Getting the ball out of the deadly offensive zone of Arlington. As we get a couple of subs for Coach McGovern near midfield and trying to link up with Kelly Brady. As Kelly Brady talked about a debut performance for her back when she was an eighth grader player in her first year of varsity soccer. How about a hat trick in the playoffs against Mayapak? What a way to make your entrance at the high school level. And Brady has been brilliant again here today with a lone goal between both sides. Well, she has improved her touch on the ball over the years. I mean, each year she's gotten better and better. And she's so good. She plays more of a boy style of soccer, what Peter McGovern said. And Here you go, and Brady trying to make it two in a row, clangs it off the crossbar. And once again, who was the one? The facilitator was Zernecki. But here's a counter the other way for Arlington. Solacito well out of her own end. She'll get it off the side of her foot, but it goes out of bounds and allows herself time to retreat. Another incredible opportunity for North Rockland. Megan McMillan with a great ball and then the cross. Kelly Brady right there. I mean, this is exactly what you want. I mean, Zernicki, fabulous job on this right flank. And again, what about that play for Brady, the one-timer? And might get a piece of it was Cassie Coster with the save. So Coster credited with her sixth save, keeping this still a one nothing deficit. Now her team looking to answer Solacito with another big stop for North Rockland. She's getting a lot of touches here. This game certainly opening up in the last couple of moments, end-to-end -end action between both sides. That's we're coming up on 15 minutes left to go in regulation. Six saves to three in favor of Arlington and Coster. Solacito still working on a clean sheet. She shut out Scarsdale in their last game two to nothing. And again, Solacito getting a lot of touches and a beautiful opportunity again for Arlington. Can't put it in because you're going right at a player like Solacito. If you aren't testing her and going 
either far post or up high. She's going to get that that save. Here's Bayon. Takes a couple of bounces. Corralled in by Solacito. And once again, it was number 19, Casey Stoll, the freshman for Arlington, getting that shot on goal opportunity. Now she's solid. Four saves for Solacito now. Well, North Rockland needs to find a way to get out of here. Germano to Kelly Coster. Coster chipping it in the box. Nobody lurking there on the other end. But certainly, the fields have shifted. Arlington really trying to throw the kitchen sink at them to get that game-tying goal late here in the second half. Here's North Rockland. Down the far wing it goes. Chasing after it for North Rockland was number 13, Devin Krieger. Will go out of bounds. Nice play there by the assistant for North Rockland. We're making the catch, but it will be a throw upcoming for Christ and Red Raiders. How does North Rockland, Julianne, find a way to salt this one away? Well, they need another score. I mean, that's the, that's the only possibility, and they're knocking at the door. So they've got to keep being the aggressors, being the first of the ball, and they got to get stops. And Arlington, they're certainly going to be trying to work the middle of the field with number five, Kendall Fayen, who's been the facilitator for them in the second half. North Rockland's long ball has been really, really good today. So... I think that's all about reading the game, and they're realizing they can run and get in transition, and they've nearly scored on a lot of them. Rodriguez, bodying up her defender, Fayen, held possession, but then Kelly Coster came from behind to take it away. Germano has been dangerous since moving up to the forward position here in the tail end of the second half. Trying to race underneath it, Sicardo, keeping her at bay. Goes out of bounds, will be a throw quickly for Arlington. Germano, just outside the box. Her pass deflected, Solicito coming out. Loose ball, chipped in, and a goal! Arlington pounces in, and it's number 19, Casey Stoll, who was so close all game long, finally gets the equalizer, and we're tied at 1-1. And Arlington finally gets a shot on goal, and a nice job by Germano here. Controlling the ball, keeping it in her feet, and then actually that ball was tipped. And Solicito doing what she needed to do. She was aggressive. She's been doing this all along, but there was no help. There was no backup. So for her to come that far out was risky. She didn't leave it up to her defense in that situation, and it burned her. A late goal here for Arlington is not the score up at one all. Casey Stoll, the freshman, scoring already her third goal of the season. She was so close in a couple of opportunities in the second half, even had one saved a couple of minutes ago, but finally finds Bader to get the 1-1 one -one tie. And North Rockland allowed Arlington to hang around for almost an entire game, and they haven't scored since the very start of this game. So what happens when you can't capitalize off of that? Arlington came right back. There's Stoll on your screen. Had two goals against Ursuline. Now give her her third goal of the season and an important one here that has deadlocked the score at 1-1. And North Rockland certainly you had in their last huge opportunity that one that rang off the crossbar that would have made it a 2-0 game and might, might have been the deciding factor here. Now we'll see if both teams continue to be aggressive as Cannon tries to race it down and forces Solicito to kick that one right to Coach Hand on the Arlington sideline. So it looks like Arlington is going to continue their aggressive play after reaching that 1-1 tie. Now it's a good test for North Rockland. How do they handle this momentum shift? How do they handle what Peter McGovern said he wanted to see them being able to respond two in Arlington score. Arlington tying the score up here in the last couple of moments as we're approaching 10 minutes left to go in the second half. Yeah. 
Jadlicka. Out to the midfield to Fayette. Here's Germano, still with it. The top of the box takes the low liner. And a diving save there made by Nicole Solicito. Her fifth save of this game. And Germano, with a nice job again, just went too low or right at Solicito. She's been a difference maker in the second half since being moved from her left back position to a forward. And again, Germano with the ball. Great job giving the opportunity. Solicito has got a lot of touches as of late. And they're continuing to be aggressive. Thompson with the restart. Fain. Try to loft that one down the far side. But it can't be saved from going out of bounds before it's a quarter kick upcoming for Arlington. Momentum certainly on their side here late in the game. Their third quarter upcoming. Karis standing over it. And it looks like she's going to acquiesce to her teammate Kendall Fayen. Who will handle this corner kick from the far side. Fayen service. Trying to connect with Kelly Coster. Still loose in the box. Fighting for it is Cannon. Outworks her defender. Here's a chance, and Arlington just hits it wide of the net. Goal kick upcoming with just over eight minutes left to go in regulation. Arlington's been able to figure out ways to get the corner kicks, and North Rockland really has it in the second half here. Down midfield. North Rockland trying to generate some offensive opportunities late in the game. Zernecki. Good speed down the flank. Soft pass loose in front. Cleared out of harm's way by Arlington. A collision and a foul whistled against the Admirals. Free kick upcoming for North Rockland. Jenna McMillan. Ready to set this one up. Gassie Coster waiting in her net. Is there any late game magic upcoming for North Rockland? McMillan to the top of the box. Fayen knocked it down originally and now Arlington looking to run the other way for Coster. Up top, Stoll, who has the goal for Arlington, dribbling against three different defenders. Laying it off to the far side to number 25, Kelly Coster. Here's service, open Admiral in front and miss hit a bit by Sidney Cannon. There is a prime opportunity for Arlington to maybe take their first lead of the day. A lot of these shots are going right into Solicito's arms. A little ground ball situation. She's right there. On the far side, the shots 17 apiece for both teams. We're both even on the scoreboard. 1 1. As the ball goes out of bounds, and a couple of subs coming onto the field for both teams. As Sydney Cannon, the senior with an assist on the season, was looking for her first goal of the year. Just didn't get a clean hit on that one in front of Solicito. As we're under six minutes left to go in the second half. <laughs> Turning around and passing it. Up top to Brady. Crossfield pass from Brady is a beautiful one to Zernecki but she's called for offsides as her defender stepped up just in front of her to draw her offsides. It didn't look like she was offsides. It looked like there was a white jersey in front of her. Must have been real close. Thompson. Fayen. 
Bain splits the pass through a couple of defenders. Trying to race underneath it was Geringer. Here's Bain again. Good battle there in the offensive end for Arlington. Coster reversing things to the far side now. Karras running underneath it. Colsar defending against her, knocks it out, but a quick throw ensues for Arlington. Trailed for the majority of this game, just had the equalizing goal a couple of minutes ago, dribbling inside the goal box and knocked out of bounds, but another corner earned for Arlington. Arlington continuing to handle the pressure and very aggressive play here. I mean, the ball's getting knocked around quite a bit, and the first ones to the ball are in white jerseys here. Off the quick corner, it deflected out, and it'll be another corner, the fifth corner of the day for Arlington. So they were trying to catch North Rockland sleeping on that last corner attempt, the service inside the box, which was headed out of bounds by the Red Raiders. Here's Bayon again from the near side. Lofting it back post, getting a piece of it was Coster but not enough to keep it in. Arlington dominating the last vestiges of this game. Trying to look for the first go-ahead goal of the day. They've never led in this one. A quick goal in the first half for North Rockland led the game for the majority of this one, and then Casey Stowell scored the equalizer. Here's Bayon lurking inside. Knocked out of bounds at another corner earned by Arlington, their sixth. Incredible job by Arlington maintaining possession. The last five minutes has been on this end of the field. Arlington earning all of their corners here in the second half of play. Germano inside, Solacino lines it up and makes the catch. Three minutes left to go in regulation for Solacito and company. They're trying to hold on here and endure against an onslaught displayed by Arlington in the last couple of minutes. And they haven't gotten an opportunity in a while. Valdez. Into the midfield. Arlington is the first to the ball. They seem quicker to the ball right now. Germano takes the shot, forcing Solicito to make the save. Juggled it a bit, but still held on to it. What a beautiful shot, though. Just, again right at Solicito. They're winding though. As Arlington is starting to grow a little stronger at the tail end of this game. Getting to every 50-50 ball and now sub two coming on to the field. Great wind up. Germano gets it high, has pretty good lift, but Nicole Solicito's got some options, she's tall which is helpful in goal. Lurking for Cannon. Cannon trying to move it forward. There's gonna be a foul whistled against Cannon, pushing her defender. So a free kick upcoming for North Rockland, still in their defensive end. As we're approaching 90 seconds remaining here in the second half. Stolen. Trying to turn on her defender. D'Esposito's pass deflected. Here comes Geringer. Could not thread that pass through a defender. And then knocks into the North Rockland side. A foul against Arlington. Their 10th foul of the game. Coming up on a minute left. Ball going back to Cassie Coster. Won't take any chances with that, and we'll secure it. Here's Germano. Kelly Coster. Runs past her defender, takes the shot. Big save by Solicito. The rebound also secured in by the senior netminder. Keeping this a tie game late in the contest. Big saves there by number one, Nicole Solicito. Here's Kelly Brady. 20 seconds left to go. Does North Rockland have one final offensive burst in them? Fayette. To 
to the midfield. And 80 minutes will not be enough between these two sides. As is, it is 1-1 after regulation. A second half goal scored by Casey Stoll in Arlington. Who had the better of the play in the last 15 minutes of regulation. We'll head to OT. Both teams not up at 1-1 here on Verizon Files 1 Sports. Market Movers is a great way to... Overtime as we are tied between Arlington and North Rockland at one goal apiece and the Admirals had plenty of scoring opportunities in that second half and finally were able to cash in. Yeah, well, I mean, they took control of the game as the second half progressed. I mean, the, the start of the first, the, excuse me, the start of the second half was a lot of North Rockland getting opportunities, but this was an incredible opportunity here where Solcito off the corner kicks got some key saves and that was a physical play that could have certainly ended that half in a goal for Arlington, but they had their foot on the on the on the gas really and Arlington was able to score and another one here. So this was a, a crazy opportunity where Arlington was able to finish and, and tie the game up. And North Rockland had a chance of their own. And they had a bunch. I mean, North Rockland was kicking the ball around the goal early on, and they just couldn't put it in. I mean, they scored very early in the first half and then had a bunch of chances. And they're going to look back at the tape and, and really wish that they had put one in at some point. They allowed Arlington to hang around, but hey, it's a good game. Two really solid teams that have played very assertive. And we'll see if somebody has the answer here. Both goalies have been brilliant, only allowing one goal each. A couple of chances, as you saw there in the second half, for North Rockland to maybe extend the game in the lead to two to nothing. Rang off the crossbar off the foot of Kelly Brady after Costa had gotten a piece of it. And then the other way, Arlington was inches away from maybe racing home with a 2-1 win, only to be denied by Nicole Solicito. We'll start the first overtime. It will be a throw by North Rockland. Here comes Arlington. We definitely had the field tilted in their direction the last 15 minutes of regulation. As it goes back to the defensive side, and in overtime they play two 10-minute halves and is not golden goal. So even if a goal is scored, we play on until both 10-minute halves are done. Here's McMillan going straight down the middle and a save made by Cassie Coster. Fording that good take up the middle of the field by the freshman. And Coster doing a nice job stepping up, but there's nobody even covering McMillan. McMillan is wide open. This is where you've got to capitalize on that opportunity. And unfortunately, she goes right on Coster. Nice range on that save made by Coster, knocking it out of bounds, but will set up a corner kick in the near side for North Rockland. They'll take it quickly. Knocked down in front of the goal mouth. Now Stolen Company look to counter the other way with Fayen running in the midfield. And a whistle trying to stay onside was Ken, but she's ruled to have been offside when she played the ball. Christ with the free kick. Jenna McKillen. McMillan getting it to her sister. And a foul whistled. Initially, everybody was loading up to try to say that it was going to be a free kick for North Rockland, but the foul was whistled against Megan McMillan. That's the fourth team foul against North Rockland in the game. Germano. who's been dangerous here in the second half, now into overtime. Capola was trying to center the pass. Here's Germano, again trying to get it inside the box. Still loose, stole, one hit, and lofted easily into the arms of Solacito. Stoll trying to double up her scoring account here today. She has the lone goal for Arlington. Back it goes with Julia Geringer. She'll earn the throw in. And once again, Julianne, it's Arlington administering the offensive pressure here on the North Rockland back line. 
Arlington is continuing to keep the momentum. Kendall Fain will throw it in. At the feet of Kelly Coster. Marked out. And they're going to earn a corner kick. Went off of the foot of Christ and it hit right by the corner flag. Prime opportunity here in the first overtime. Headed down by Brady who came all the way back to play defense in the box. But still not out of harm's way yet. Trying to find a recipient was Cannon. Now both teams just playing good defense today. Quick hitter. We'll take it on one bounce at Solicito on the outside shot from Elizabeth Karras. But Arlington's been able to execute and, and create opportunities for themselves by getting in the corner. I don't even know how many North Rockland has, but they, they don't really have too many, North, uh, too many corner kicks. As it goes down the far sideline, Casey Stowell. The top of the box, takes a shot, one-handed save, but it deflected into the back of the net for a goal. Arlington, who's been pressing all second half, now gets the go-ahead goal in the first overtime. After it deflected off the hands of the keeper, Solicito, the goal credited to number six, Sophia Germano. Well, finally, Germano gets a piece of this. She has been knocking at the door of the goal for quite some time, and... A nice job. She went low and caught Solicito off guard a little bit, but Solicito nearly got that save. Now, really, really great job with the small ball here in the passing. And she gets up. And listen, she has had to stop so many balls going at her. I, I think the North Rockland defense could be a little bit better in front of her today, especially in the second portion of this game. Sophia Germano, the junior has been deadly since moving late in the second half from her defensive spot to up front and that time finding the back of the net for her first goal of today her second goal of the season now north rockland with some time to work on the other end an interesting part with her is she started some games last year but played mostly defense so she's getting a lot of offensive opportunities this season but since finding that tying goal it's been all Arlington in this game as they've had North Rockland defensively on their heels. They've got the energy, they're first to the ball, they're winning 50-50s. Here we go again as Arlington winning possession and countering with the attack the other way. Nice passing. Here's Germano, the one-two, trying to connect with Karras. Germano knocked down, Christ clearing it out to midfield but out to an Arlington player. Here's Stowell. Chasing after it is Sicardo. Up top. Into the box. Miss hit, though, by Arlington. But they are quicker to the ball and definitely finding more green spaces to operate on offense compared to what they have to deal with, really, for the first 60 minutes of this game. So Lacido and North Rockland trying to find their second wind. As we're under four minutes left to go in the opening first half of overtime. And a foul from behind against Arlington. Counting the second half and also overtime, 16 shots for Arlington since that halftime break. So definitely the adjustments made by Coach Kelly Hand and her staff. Just to be more aggressive, and that's what they did. They took it. They took the bull by the horns and they just continue to be aggressive in the second half. So you got to give them a lot of credit for that. So see Coach Hand looking on, telling her team to settle down. And they were just peppering North Rockland with shots. Assisted by Jason Conklin, who was great in talking with us before today's game. The two-time defending Section 1 Class AA champs playing like it here. After trailing one to nothing in this game, they've scored the last two unanswered. That time the ambitious effort goes out of bounds will be a goal kick upcoming for North Rockland. Right now the difference maker is Sophia Germano. Her goal here in the first overtime has put her team in front for the first time this afternoon by a 2-1 to one margin. Yeah. 
Christ. Trying to connect with Brady. Brady trying to shoulder it down. Look at that hustle there by number 10 in red. Racing all the way back in the diagonal pass, trying to free up Zernecki on the far wing. Thompson doing a great job of coming underneath that. One of the senior leaders for this Arlington side. Again, trying a long ball. Racing underneath it is Megan McMillan. She was oh so close to putting past the second goal of the game for North Rockland late in the second half, which would have made it two to nothing. Bianca Christ with a throw deep in the offensive end for the Red Raiders. Coming up on 90 seconds remaining here in the first overtime. Christ to the top of the box. Still with North Rockland possession, Rodriguez centering that pass. Caroms out all the way to the far side. Long range shot. Coster underneath it to make the easy catch as we have one minute left to go in the first OT. But definitely the best sustained offensive possession in a while, Julianne, for North Rockland. Yeah, they've struggled to get opportunities. They got a lot of shots off on goal in, in the early, it, it seemed to be the first part of the first half and then the first part of the second. Zernecki was trying her darndest to earn the corner kick, but it rolled off her foot last and will be the goal kick upcoming for Coster and Arlington. And Arlington has done a nice job just keeping the momentum on their side. And who's defending Cernecki on that far side? But it looked like Germano. So after scoring the goal, they moved her back to her original defensive position. Uh, it's, it's pivotal that they continue to play assertive as well. You know, one goal is not a lot, as we saw them tie the game up with just a one goal lead. Under 10 seconds left to go. Fayin. Across the middle. No horn sounding yet, but the official 10 minutes are done, and now the horn sounds. That'll end the first overtime action here. And Arlington scoring a goal to stake themselves out to a 2-1 lead. Courtesy of number six, Sophia Germano. After Arlington was threatening so much, they finally put across the go-ahead goal. We'll take a 2-1 lead here in overtime on Verizon Class 1 Sports. Replacing your windows and doors but not sure where to start? Take your first step now. Visit windowrama.com to receive your free in-home consultation. Windowrama will walk you through the replacement process, assuring you of getting the right windows for your budget. Plus, Windowrama is now offering no interest, no payment financing for 12 months. Find out more about this attractive offer at windowrama.com. At Windowrama, our only goal is your total satisfaction. Well, the start of the second overtime session here at North Rockland High School in Fields, New York. Arlington scoring a goal in the first overtime have given the Admirals their first lead of the afternoon. And a big reason that they're in this position is because of the outstanding play of their goalkeeper, Cassie Coster. She's only a sophomore, but she's playing like an upperclassman. And I said it earlier, but she didn't get a lot of playing time last year. But this year, she sure has. She's been aggressive. She's had good instincts. She's very long and agile and covers a lot of ground. And this was a beautiful save here that could have definitely been a goal. She got a piece of that one. Saved a day, possibly for Arlington. She's got seven saves today. She had five against Somers the other day. So she has certainly been their difference maker. Ten more minutes for North Rockland to try to find an equalizing goal and even maybe patch together a couple here to race home with a win. As we start the second overtime again, it was 1-1 after regulation. Arlington scored in the first 10 minute overtime period. And, and now we go to dark. the second half. <laughs> and it is getting dark here. No lights on this field at North Rockland as Kelly Brady and company trying to find a little magic of their own. She opened up the scoring early in the first half. North Rockland raced out to a 1-0 lead, and with 15 minutes left to go, that's when Arlington finally broke through against Nicole Solicito. 
These two teams were the top two seeds last year in the sectional playoffs. Arlington would go on to win 5-1 in the championship final against Clarkstown South, claiming their second straight Section 1 Class AA sectional championship. They went 20-1 overall last season. North Rockland had an outstanding season last year, and these two locking horns early on in 2018. This could be a preview of something special down the line as well. Come state playoff time. Two good programs, winning coaches and teams, and they've battled it out. This is a good measuring stick for both of them. And then you take a game like this, and you're able to really learn and grow as you build chemistry as the season progresses. It's the first time this season that Arlington trailed in a game and they fought back for the tying goal. Now Zernecki underneath this long pass. Trying to find the second goal for North Rockland and right into the bread basket it goes as Cassie Coster makes another save. Quite a bit of lift on the ball though for falling away and nearly falling down too. But Coster has been in position. Again, that goal that she surrendered to Kelly Brady in the first half for only the first goal surrendered by Coster this season. And only the second overall goal surrendered by Arlington as a program this year. Admiral's looking for more. Stowell, who had the goal that tied it in the second half. Low liner taken in on a couple of bounces by Solacito. Stowell's goal pushed us to overtime and Germano right now would be the hero with her goal in the first overtime period. Here is Germano, now playing in the backfield. Switching back to defense. A collision and a foul whistled against Arlington. And now a free kick opportunity for North Rockland. Looks like Christ will take the kick for the Red Raiders. Here's the kick. Headed down. And that one too high and far away. Goal kick upcoming for Arlington. So we're coming up on three minutes gone by in this second overtime. North Rockland, Julianne, producing a couple of opportunities here but not really being able to find anything on set pieces in this game. A lot of times that's how you manufacture your, your goals is by getting yourself opportunities out of set pieces and they certainly haven't been good at that today. I think moving forward for North Rockland that might be something to try to stress and try to do a better job with. McMillan. Trying to connect with Zernecki, headed out of bounds though by Fayen. Another throw upcoming for North Rockland. Centering play in the box, Brady getting a piece of it at first, then a deflection before it got to Coster. And it'll be a corner kick upcoming for the ladies in red of North Rockland. It looks like Kelly Brady is starting to now get tired. <laughs> it's the first time I think I've seen her Lean her hands on her hips a little bit. Only the second corner opportunity of the day for North Rockland. Coming here, just under six minutes left to go in the second and final overtime. Low pass, gets through a couple of defenders. Not able to pair up with anybody inside the box though, and Arlington now trying to counter. A couple of players draped in white now going the other way. Good defensive play there by Valdez. Valdez with it, earning possession back to her side, trying to go for the long ball to Brady. Thompson quickly gets it away. Coming up on five minutes remaining here in the final overtime. 2-1 lead for Arlington. Sophia Germano, her goal is the difference right now in this game, scoring in that first 10-minute overtime session. Oh 
Arlington with possession. Into the box, cleared away by Sofia D'Esposito. And subs made at midfield. As number 16, Kelsey Coppola, coming back onto the field for Arlington. Precious time ticking away here for North Rockland. They have to try to make their defensive stands and counter the other way, Julian. As time is certainly not on their side, and they've had limited offensive opportunities since Arlington tied the game up 1-1. You really have no time to sit on your laurels, or, or in any sense, you've got to play with a sense of urgency. They have had a hard time getting the ball back and gaining the possession. Solicito will take that carom and boot it away. Fayen heads it down, though, near midfield. The dangerous Cernecki knocks it off of the Arlington defender and will have a chance for the offensive attack for the Red Raiders. Well, that was a handball, yep. And the handball is whistled against Arlington. We'll give a free kick opportunity upcoming for North Rockland and a chance maybe to set up some service inside the box. 2-1 the lead for Arlington. Looking back post. Whoa. Weird bounce, but secured nicely by Coster. Close one, a lot of lift on it. And it was nearly to Brady, and that was the key. You want to try to get it to her. So North Rockland now with under three minutes left to go here to try to pull off one more goal to maybe force a tie. Here's Zernecki, takes the shot, just over the crossbar. It looked like she was offside, but I guess not. Got the service from Brady and Zernecki so close to tying the game up at two all. She's pleading with a corner. We'll see if Coster actually got a piece of it. She did. She did get a piece of that one. Woo. Credit Coster with the save and also because of the referee's decision. Now does it look like the referee is overturning the original call? Arlington's defensive players protesting here and it looks like he is calling for a corner kick. The right, it, it is the right call. He doesn't have the replay we do. Great correction there by the official. After it was clear that Coster got a piece of it. Now a corner kick. New life for North Rockland. Under two minutes left to go in the second overtime. Christ with the corner. Near post. Hit it in. And a goal. Might have been an own goal, but it's a goal regardless for North Rockland. And they've tied the game in dramatic fashion here with under two minutes left to go in the second OT. Wow, what a big turn of events as the referee made the right call, Julianne, to turn this into a corner. I'll see if he had kept it with the wrong call. This was not a goal. That did go off of a white jersey, I believe. Yeah. Looked like it went off of Germano. I think it was off of Germano who had the previous goal it did it went off of her wow that's yeah. one you don't you can't sleep at night after so germano germano actually now credited with both goals here in overtime an own goal here for this final stages of the second overtime has deadlocked the game 2-2 an own goal for arlington has given north rockland a 2-2 tie Now, can Arlington counter? Racing after it in a collision, a foul whistled against North Rockland will set up a free kick situation here. 90 seconds left to go in the second OT for Tremano and company. Here's the free kick, headed down, but wide of the net. It'll still stay in play. North Rockland will try to clear it down the near sideline. North Rockland with one minute left to go in the game. They opened up the scoring, made it one nothing. 
The next two goals by Arlington. But then the Red Raiders first even own goal have tied the game at 2-2 and Kelly Brady looking for more. She'll knock it off the defender and we'll see where it roll. It will roll just shy of the corner flag so it will be a throw instead of a corner. But what an unbelievable series of events. Under 30 seconds coming up now and regulation here in the second OT. <laughs> The wind swirling around at North Rockland. Booted straight up in the air. McMillan trying to keep it in play for the offense. Maybe one final chance for Arlington. Well out of her net is Solicito. And time will run out. And these two teams that are powerhouses in the section as the horn sounds will end up with a 2-2 tie. What a game though, huh? I mean, who would think that you'd have the same girl score the supposed game-winning goal and then she happens to stand in the way of North Rockland's goal. But what a game. Two really solid teams. An exciting finish to this one as Arlington again raced out in the first overtime. And then North Rockland had the equalizer 2-2. Welcome to a show like no other. Welcome once again to Bill. The Bill Series. Hi. from Bill Studios in New York City. Your front row seat to some of the biggest names in entertainment. Do you think you're misunderstood as a filmmaker? Fashion, business, and tech. Ladies and gentlemen, make the music. Every conversation brings insight, inspiration, and plenty of surprises. Tune in Fridays at 7.30 p.m. on Files 1 News, only on Verizon Files TV. The final here in overtime, a 2-2 tie between Arlington and North Rockland. A game of runs and ebbs and flows going back and forth as Arlington struck for the first goal in overtime, followed by North Rockland. Oh, what a game, though. I mean, this was a back and forth affair, and what a beautiful shot here to get the game winning, supposedly the game winning goal, but not able to hold on to the lead. And this was a reversal of a call by the referee. They got a corner kick and because of him making the right call they end up scoring to tie this one what a performance and what a, an ironic ending to say the least but two really good teams that played their hearts out neither team deserved to lose this one as it's a great measuring strict stick for both teams as they're going to be trying to make some noise later on this season in class double a and we may see these very two teams lock horns again come the sectional playoff time as we were treated to a great one here between arlington and north rockland in front of a big crowd assembled on a beautiful day in September, Brady and company opened up with the scoring, and then Arlington fought back. This broadcast has been a presentation of Rise and Files 1 Sports. Special thanks to our producer and director, Frank Lasquacho, as well as the rest of our tremendous Files 1 broadcast crew. So, for my broadcast partner, Julianne Viotti, I'm Dan Long, saying so long from North Rockland High School. This has been a special presentation of Verizon Files 1 Sports.